This video relates to Glencore's Fatal Hazard Protocol number 7, Emergency Response. The training will serve as a control and will cover emergency preparedness. Good morning folks, Joe Hinnich here, working on another video on the emergency preparedness for underground miner video series. Today we're going to talk about the rules of three. First rule of three is oxygen. The human body can live three minutes without oxygen. What can we do to prepare ourselves better for that in the underground environment? We need to clearly understand our ventilation system. When you get to your work area, you need to understand where the fresh air source is coming in, what is the route of the exhaust air leaving the work area, and then you need to think about a worst case scenario. A fire breaks out behind you, where is your escape route going to be? How are you going to get to the refuge station? And how can you make sure that you're traveling in fresh air? If you can't get yourself to the refuge station in a, uh, in a way that you're traveling in fresh air, you want to make sure that you have the material to be able to build yourself a barricade, get yourself out of the noxious atmosphere. The second rule of three is the human body can go three days without water. Water is a vital source of life for the human body. There is no good source of water underground. There's no way that I can recommend that you can drink any water source down here. None of the standing water is good for human consumption, and the water that's coming out of the process water pipes is not recommended for drinking. So what you need to do in that case is you need to bring the water with you. A small Nalgene water bottle is good for half a ship, one liter. It's highly recommended that you consume two liters of water per day. So, most of the miners will access the Pullman uh, water jugs that are available on surface in the tool crib that provides you with two liters of water, which is what is required for uh, one day. All right? What we've also done to ensure that there's a bit more reserve available is there is water coolers available at all refuge stations with usually a rack of spare water available just outside the refuge station. We've also designated two Colligan water bottles to be a reserve in, the, uh, in each main refuge station. They're locked, they're uh, tagged, they're in a, a small Tupperware container and they're cycled out every six months to ensure freshness of the water. Finally, the third rule of three is that the human body can go approximately three weeks without food. What can we do to help ourselves out there? We always want to make sure that we're coming to work with our uh, lunch kit, right? But then you can also have a small reserve, uh, either in your everyday carry bag. Uh, some of the miners have access to a crew toolbox. Or else if you're on the same piece of equipment uh, every day, uh, then you can have a small stash on the equipment as well, right? But what are some of the things that you can carry in there is granola bars, protein bars, and if you have access to them, uh, MREs, right? Those are all three items that will have a high shelf life so that you can put them in your kit or in your small stash and you don't have to worry about them, all right? So that's it for the rules of three. Three minutes for oxygen, three days for water, three weeks for food. Thanks for watching.